In this video, we'll take a quick look at how the cost-effective swim lane timeline solution saves time and increases communication and collaboration through an interactive environment that provides the quick generation of accurate, up-to-date, information-rich, and professional-looking project portfolio and roadmap reports. In this project plan, you'll notice that we've used a number of the custom task fields that are available. We have a few text fields in this uh, roadmap, planning status, investment objective, funding source, etc. Um, we also have some cost fields here. You can see we've got a net cost and a gross cost. Uh, and uh, let's see if we have, uh, we've got some number fields here as well. So we've got a lot of metadata associated with our tasks. Uh, the nice thing about the swim lane timeline is that you can visualize that metadata very quickly. Let me show you an example. So when you install the swim lane timeline, uh, it installs a tab in project called visibility and you have the option to create from active project or create from all open projects. So if you wanted to have a you know, ad hoc portfolio view, you can do that as well. But let's just take a look at a single project. So it's going to uh, fire up the Visio in the swim lane timeline and that starts communicating with project and it generates our default view which is based on the work breakdown structure. The title is taken from the summary row and the swim lanes are outline level 1 and the tasks within the swim lanes are outline level 2. Now I told you that you could quickly generate an information rich report. Let's take a look at how applying a single style, so in this case this style, the strategic roadmap using the fiscal year starting in July style uh, will generate a nice report for us in just a few seconds based on that data and based on the metadata in the fields. So notice if I zoom down here in the legend that tasks are being colorized based on the investment objective field and their outline thickness is being uh, and, and line style is uh, being driven by the planning status and the milestone type shapes are being driven by the milestone type field. So this one uh, style changed to my fiscal years, changed the level of depth that I was looking into the schedule, applied conditional formatting, generated my report for me and now of course I have the option uh, you know we have our default uh, logo but uh, you can absolutely uh, change that logo to be whatever you want uh, in fact you can even hide the logo if you if you'd like to do so but that logo can be any JPEG or PNG file and let's just go for example and grab one of my picks here and we'll just grab a bird shot like uh, this uh, sharp shinned hawk <laughs> and uh, we'll show actually I think I'm still hiding it so show the logo so we can see uh, there's the hawk um, and this you know some organizations like to have a bitmap image, maybe you're building some device and you'd like to have that bitmap there uh, or of course you can use your uh, corporate logo as well. Um, but let's say this is my report now that I want to share so one click to generate it and now one click to send it off to PowerPoint and I now have my slide and I can start presenting uh, in PowerPoint. So that's just how easy it is with a, a single click style uh, applied. Now, uh, we showed you uh, generating from scratch uh, how you can do this in just two clicks. Uh, but as we all know, projects change. And uh, what happens, like I've just generated this view, 
but I see here phase six is not showing any percent complete and I f know that it is. In fact, uh, if I right click, I can hyperlink right to that project task. It takes me to that phase six task and I can put in the percent complete that I uh, want and then save it and come back in here and do a refresh. Now, I don't want to muck with my demo uh, project plan here, but I've already done that with another uh, file. So let's go ahead and refresh. And instead of, I'll show you this little option, instead of refreshing against the original file, I'm going to delete that. I can refresh it against, and I'm going to change this to MPP files. Uh, I'll change it against to where I the, the updated project schedule where I've changed the phase 6% complete. So now it's going to do a refresh. It's going to leave my style applied, but it'll update all the values uh, or all the changes that are in there. And of course, one of those was uh, changing the percent complete for phase 6, and you can see it also changed the task name. So those are also applied. And again, I'm ready. You know, a single click refresh, and I'm off to PowerPoint to share it with the team. In this video, you've seen how the Swimlane timeline can be used to quickly create information rich, professional looking reports in Visio through the use of custom one click styles and refresh options. If you would like to learn more about the Swimlane timeline, then please visit our website at www.swimlanetimeline.com. We truly appreciate your interest, welcome any questions, and value your feedback. Thank you very much for your time today.